Okay. So, uh, as I talked about um, in my videos recently, and in other places online, depending on where you're watching this from, I talked about cutting weight. And um, so today was the day after a week long um, super hydration, uh, depletion of sodium, a manipulation of my diet. Uh, today was the day that I was to fast and dehydrate myself um, in order to make the weight. And so um, I think I'm just going to explain uh, the order of events because, you know, how else do you really do it? But um, so I woke up at, I think, 107.9 pounds, and I had to make 105. Um, so, you know, that was where I was working towards. And it was maybe a little higher than I wanted, but um, what we planned to do was go in and sweat the weight out, or at least a fair amount of it. And so by the time, um, so I woke up and, like I said, I... You know, I had stopped eating and drinking at about 7, at exactly 7 the night before. So, you know, I, I don't um, have anything in my system. And um, by the time I went to start this sweating process, I weighed, I believe, 107.7 pounds. And so, um, or maybe it's 107.6. Um, but either way, you know, I... I got my things on, my swimming suit, and, uh, and we went into the steam room, and I was in there for, you know, cycles of uh, sweating out, and then maybe taking um, small breaks to bring the body the temperature down, and then working on sweating more. And so after, I believe, 45 minutes of that, uh, maybe an hour, 45 minutes to an hour, I checked my weight, and it was 107.1. Um, which is, which is not, uh, not ideal if you're trying to sweat out weight. So, um, I, when I saw that number on the scale, it was kind of crushing. I mean, it was absolutely crushing. And so I went back out and I reported this to Kyle, to poor Kyle, who's been, you know, enduring the sweating in the steam room with me. And and, you know, I think at that time it was probably two or three in the afternoon. And I didn't have, I didn't have a clock with me. I have no idea. And that's not good. Um, you know, the, the weigh-ins are at seven and I'm sweating things out so slowly that it, it's just not a good sign. Um, so, you know, frankly, cutting weight isn't easy. I've been saying that and I'll keep saying it. Um, but I was emotionally already so, uh, so kind of pushed by this experience that I, I, uh, I had a hard time, you know, I kind of walked around. People in the area probably thought I was nuts. Um, I was pretty angry at the process, at the fact that I'd worked so hard and the fact, you know, that I, I apparently don't really sweat out weight. Um, so I, I wanted to try to go back in there and get more out. And uh, so I, I did. I did a few more times in the steam room, and I think after the third, um, the third, you know, time back in there, I came out because I, I went six minutes, and I just really didn't feel good. I came back out and started to feel pretty sick, uh, nauseous, which I thought was funny because I was like, if I my body tries to throw up there, there isn't going to be any. Like, how does that work? There's going to be anything to heave up, like nothing. Um, so I was entertained at some, in some portion. Um, but, you know, so that was, that wasn't a great sign, but as we stood there and my body temperature was, you know, um, given a break, I started to have, um, my vision kind of cut in and out, um, and I got the blood rushing sensation and, um, I have a bit of a history of fainting, of passing out. I've done it before, and I knew the signs. So, I mean, at that point, I just went down on the ground because that's the only thing that's going to stop me from just actually passing out when my body's um, acting that way. And apparently, I sat down on, like, somebody's stuff, and I'm totally drenched in sweat, and, uh, you know, I didn't, I don't, I don't remember doing that, whatever. I don't know. Um, and Kyle 
you know, said I was done. So I was, I was done. And uh, so I sat there and kind of worked on recovering. And, um, but I really, I just, I, I insisted, you know, before I was going to get any fluids in me or anything, I insisted on checking what my weight was after that. And it was 106.7 which isn't bad, but it's still pretty far away from where you'd want to be if you're sweating weight out. So, um, you know, like the minute like I drank, it was like a concession. It was just a complete concession. It was heartbreaking for me. Um, you know, I mean, I guess, I guess this is why you do a trial cut. You learn if your body doesn't sweat, and mine really doesn't. I can tell you this from years of cardio, it takes a lot to get me to sweat, even like an appreciable amount, um, it takes a lot. Uh, so I don't have that in my favor, I can't count on it, and I need to do the cut differently. Um, I, I really probably was in range if I hadn't started to pass out, which I did, um, I probably could have made it sweated it out, even if it was going to take three hours. I will tell you that sweating stuff out is one of the hardest things I've ever done, period. I haven't had a child, so those of you who will tell you that childbirth is the worst thing in the world, so I'll give you credit, but uh, frankly, cutting weight is one of the worst things I've ever done, psychologically and physically. So, uh, you know, I was still gonna do it. I was so angry that I had gone that far I had come that far and I you know I was so close and I was gonna push myself, but when I started to pass out um, It's not worth it. I don't think it's worth it so That is what happened as I uh, embarked on the process of trying to get to 105. I uh, didn't do it and you know it was, it was just really hard. <laughs> it's not like the end all, I can still probably get there, but I kind of had a lot riding on it, and I still do, because I still believe I can do it. So I just thought I would actually just do like a vlog to talk about it, as opposed to writing about it. I probably will, I'll write about it. Um, yeah. So anyway, I think I'll just wrap it up, but you know, I will say that it makes you appreciate things. When you go through a lot, when you physically suffer, um, when you mentally suffer, it makes you, it clarifies things. And I'm actually pretty happy right now because, you know, what it clarified, um, or at least just reinforced, because I think about this every day, it clarified you know, how lucky I am to have the support that I do. Um, Kyle had to be with me when I turned into a monster in there. When I almost, frankly, broke a glass door, I slammed it so hard. I don't, I guess I have the energy to do this. I slammed it so hard into the wall as I threw it open to go back into the locker room. Um, so, you know, I have, I have that and like, and I have lifting, and like at the end of the day, you know, those things, like that is, you know, those are so much more important than competition, uh, you know, than just, you know, than risking your health. So, um, I'm fine. I'm obviously fine if you look at me. You know, I recovered really fast, so that's a good sign. You know, we, we took care of me. Uh, but, um, there you go. That's what happened. And so we'll see where things go from here. Um, thanks for watching.